Look at where we are, everybody. That's right. We're in Minimator. And as some of you may know, there was an update recently, as in yesterday as of this recording, that came out with an update and some bug fixes. And the bug fixes, I'm sure what you're most excited about in this update. So here they are. Now with that out of the way, we'll get into the less interesting things, which is a new type of bending. So what I will do is go over here to the workbench. I will spawn in a new human character. It doesn't have to be human, but that's what I'm going to spawn in. So here he is. This is a character, and when you click on him, he has this panel that comes out, and you can do things. He has rotation and stuff, but this is just the root of the character, so we're going to drop it down and show the other parts, and in particular, the body. And then when we do that, you'll see that the bend here has now multiple axes, and the little circle widget thing is no longer green. And as you may have guessed from the look of this, there is now multiple axis bending in Minimator. So if we take this and we bend them like this, then he bids like that. And then if we bend them like this, he bids like that, like he twists. And then we could do this, and he's a contortionist. You will note, however, if you click on the arm and select it, that there is still only X axis bending there. And to my understanding, there's no way to get the other axis bending, but I haven't investigated this enough to say that for sure, so correct me if I'm wrong. Another thing you will notice is the bending is a little bit different in the way that it looks, so we'll go ahead and bend on the x-axis, which is typically how you would bend things in previous versions of Minimator, and you'll see that there's this weird pinching business that's going on. Let me go ahead and raise this arm out of the way, or actually, let's just get this arm out of the damn way. There we go! Now you can see everything, and I mean everything. Okay, so let's go ahead and do like this, and when we bend them, you'll see that there's this pinching business going on, and that is the way it works now in Minimator. And I don't know if anything will change, but there is no going back to the old style of bending unless you use previous versions of Minimator, which you are free to do at your leisure. However, I personally think I like this new bending because it will keep you from kind of exaggerating bends in ways that you wouldn't want to do anyway. So an example of how you might want to use this bending is to make more realistic animations. So what you would do is click on this, and let's say we want to have Steve churn his torso. Well, typically, you know, the way your body moves in real life is kind of a chain of events to some extent as far as natural movement goes. So you would have the bending occur in a number of different ways over a course of segments of bending. So let's say we want to rotate the body and twist it at the same time. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and have this go for about one second and we're going to rotate Steve on this z-axis and we'll make it go to negative 40. So what you would typically get in Minimator is this little turn right there. We can also add a keyframe. Let's go ahead and add this transition, I mean, and we'll add that one. And then he turns just like that, and it's very blocky. But let's say we want to do some bending. So what we could do is go back to Linear, because we can't use transitions on the same timeline without it screwing up. So what I will do is go at this point, and at this point we'll add a keyframe. And then this will be when he begins to turn on the bend axis. So we'll go over here to this one and we'll turn it like so. Maybe we'll go to negative 25. And then what you should see is a bit more of a realistic motion in how he turns. So let's go ahead and play this and see what it looks like. So as you can see, that's a pretty subtle effect and there's a number of things you could do like throwing animations and whatnot that would really show this off. But as you can see here, it just gives you a little bit more of that realistic touch to your bending as he begins to pivot at this point initially. And then once it gets to this point, he begins to twist his torso a bit and you get a little bit more realistic effect. Now as you can see, I did this to somewhat of a subtle degree so we don't have too much distortion in the body. 
but you can notice some right there. Unfortunately, that's just what you have to live with, but I think this feature is really good and will open the doorway to better animation styles in Minimator. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed this enthralling video and looking into Minimator's new bug fixes, and I hope I didn't waste too much of your time by showing off this very little inconsequential bin feature. Anyway, if you like this video, feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe for more exciting tutorial videos and showcases in softwares like Minimator, HitFilm Express, and others in the future.